Hey guys, what is up? Red Panda Mining here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing well. In this video, I want to talk about the funding which has been approved to audit the new Ethereum ProgPows algorithm, uh, proposed algorithm. So, ProgPow guys, as you guys know, I've talked about ProgPow before, and basically, it's supposed to be the new, exciting, up and coming algorithm that we all hope and dream for and so I'm gonna go through a bunch of that stuff as well as the audit uh, specifications and um, some other stuff uh, also as well as the prog pow um, some hash rates on some cards that uh, our OG original gangster BBT has graciously done on uh, Google spreadsheet here so I'll, I'll get to that later, but first let's let's just read a bit of the article here on Coindesk about the funding. So, the Ethereum developers announced today that the funding has been approved to audit the hotly contested code change known as Progressive Proof of Work or ProgPow. I think, I thought it was called Progmatic, uh, but I guess prog, Progressive works as well. Um, since February, February, developers have been gathering the funds necessary to back a third-party audit of the ProgPow code. Uh, which they are using least authority, uh, which I'll show you guys that later. It's a security consulting firm. And today, during a weekly meeting, it was announced that the targeted amount of 50,000 DAI, equivalent to around $50,000, has been fully met through crowd crowdsourced donations on an open source bounty platform called Gitcoin, as well as another unnamed sources from the community. Okay, so... There's been, there's a few sources of the donations, but one of them here is the gitcoin.co. You can see their official ProgPow technical audit, audit funding, and they they have about 15, uh, almost 16,000 DAI here, which is about $16,000 USD. And uh, the Ethereum cat her herders guys specifically, they were tasked by the Ethereum core developers with the reviewing and finding an independent party to perform an audit on the Pragmatic Proof of Work algorithm, aka ProgPow. So they Ethereum cat herders have found the least authority to do the uh, to do the audit, and this company is based in Berlin, I believe. And I'm just going to read here: least authority helps others improve their technologies to be more secure. They provide security consulting services for building and managing more secure systems from the design phase through production launch. So they, their consulting services include uh, source code security audits, specification and white paper cons consultation and reviews, security by design consultation, mechanism and incentive design reviews, network and traffic analysis, and multi-phase approaches integrated into product roadmaps. So it sounds like a pretty legit company that will do this kind of stuff to audit the ProgPow. They looks like they were they have formed they were started out in 2011, and they have a team. Liz Steininger, the I probably butchered that name last name. Uh, she's the CEO as well as a couple of other people here, developers, engineers, and whatnot that will be I'm thinking help out with the audit. Okay, so. Uh, next part I want to mention uh, is that Christy Lay, she's the uh, one of the developers behind ProgPow. She did an interview with Coindesk and she mentioned, I'm just going to quote here, uh, ProgPow is a dyna dynamically changing algorithm that is tuned for today's GPUs. The compute versus memory intensity is tuned to match the current consumer GPUs, which minimizes any gains from specialized ASICs. So, I've explained before that GPUs will use pretty much a lot of the GPU of a, of a, of a graphic card uh, currently. So, where that'll be, uh, they'll be using more core and memory, I guess basically the whole graphic card. And you guys know that ETHash currently only uses uh, memory uh, intensive, uh, memory intensive uh, due to the algorithm. So with ProgPow, it's going to be using more core and and memory at the same time and other uh, other features in 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 the graphic card, which makes it harder 
and basically decentivizes 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 that's the word <laughs> asics uh, from creating an asic for progpow but anyway I want to now talk about the Ethereum Cat Herders meeting notes that they just had on April 30th and specifically the update on the ProgPal audit they just said here. I just wanted to go through um, Hudson. He said, Twitter statement advising that the audit has been funded, just sorting out the logistics to get the signatures from all parties, hoping to start this week, uh, which is this week now. Uh, Brett, he says, has anything changed from the proposal? Hudson says uh, there was a part of the hardware piece taken out of the proposal, number four of the original proposal, length of the time to create a ProgPow ASIC has been removed due to the difficulty to estimate. The audit will primarily check the security of the Ethereum network, attack surfaces and advantages and disadvantages as compared to ETHash. For, a list of, for the full list of areas of concern, please see link which we have here on the GitHub of Ethereum Cat Herders. And you can see here the ProgPow Algorithm Security Audit Proposal. And they have least authority here, Privacy Matters, that's the company that will be doing the audit. So here, I'm gonna read through here, guys, the areas, areas of, con of concern. Uh, the scope, basically, it, they said here, the Ethereum Cat Herders have requested it least authority to perform the security audit of ProgPow, a prog, uh, <laughs> a proof of work algorithm for ETHash, which is the implement, implementation for ETHash, in order to verify the security of the algorithm and provide clear metrics about its performance. The following code repositories are considered in scope for review. So here's the GitHub for ProgPow, which I've shown you guys in previous videos. Uh, so let's go here guys. So this is the areas of concern that they're going to basically audit for ProgPow. <clears throat> the expected effects of ProgPow on the security of Ethereum, uh, viz, VIS, AVIS, security of the algorithm, attack surface, cost of a 51% attack, other security risks that may result from the change to ProgPow. <clears throat> Number two, ProgPow meeting the claimed goal of ASIC resistance. Number three, known methods to speed up the calculation of the hash function. Number four, which they ruled out according to Hudson on the meeting. They took that out, I believe, uh, as they said here, taken out of the proposal. Number four, so I won't read that. Number nine, expected changes to hash power and minor balance. Number 10, identify any potential advan advantages or disadvantages that ProgPow would present in comparison to ETHash in terms of fair mining, and evaluate, evaluate any potential and uneven distribution of advantage between manufacturers or third parties. That's pretty cool. Number 11, other effects impacting the ecosystem at large, distribution and economies at scale, cost, etc., and other externalities of such a change and 13 progpow's ability to provide better decentralization and anything else identified during the initial analysis phase okay so those are the basically areas of concern that the least authority will be going through and that will be pretty cool that will they'll be, they'll be doing the audit of the progpow guys so uh now, guys, I want to go through the BBT live testing uh, results Google Sheet. Oh, you guys all know Bits Be Trippin', aka Carter, aka our OG, aka the original gangster of the crypto mining community. Basically, guys, <laughs> I followed this guy since the very beginning, and I've learned all my crypto mining from him, basically, and he's just. He's ha he has a lot of amazing resources out there for crypto mining and still to this day he has the best videos for crypto mining. So props to him guys. Okay, enough praising, but now I wanted to look at his ProgPal hash rates for some certain cards. So you see here, he's got a R9 398 GB. He's got running ProgPal at uh, 11.32 MHz at 360 watts, <laughs> which is pretty high. 
Now, let's go to the RX 570s. He's got a few here. Power color, color Red Devil. He's reviewed one for Prog Pow test at 8.17 mega hash to 8.53. And you can see the wattage as 195 to 203, which is, I would say, about 100 to 80 watts higher than the existing ETH hash algorithm. <clears throat> So we can see here that the mega hash has has dropped significantly on this new implementation of ProgPow. Now let's just keep going. Let's go to GTX 1060 now. He has uh, Carter has hashed it out to about 10 mega hash to 9 mega hash. So it's a it's it's quite a bit better, a little bit better than a 570 on ProgPow now. And the wattage you can see is significantly better. So people who have AMD cards right now, well, as of this testing ProgPow, this could change. Obviously, we don't know uh, what the hash rates will be once you know ProgPow is implemented. So this is just the theoretical hash rates of ProgPow at the moment. So as I as I'm looking at it, it looks like uh, Nvidia cards are are a lot more efficient at it than uh, AMD cards at the moment. Um, so. GTX 1070, 14, 15 mega hash, 220 watts. Uh, let's see, Sapphire Mining Edition, 470, and it shows 8 mega hash on uh, ProgPow. And then uh, let's see, Radeon 7, he's got the Radeon 7 ProgPow. Yeah, he's got around 28 to 30 uh, mega hash on the ProgPow out implementation at around 265 or 375. Um, watts. So it looks like the Radeon 7 is actually pretty efficient at the new uh, ProgPal implement implementation. So should we buy all the Radeon 7s? Heck yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, who knows? The ProgPal could change from time to time in the next couple months. I believe they said July they would finish the um, audit proposal, the audit uh, lease authority. So Take that as you will, guys. That's just uh, we'll see in the next coming next couple months. Now, uh, <laughs> a lot of information in this video, guys. Sorry that it's really long. Uh, last thing I just want to end off with is the Lindsay uh, Semiconductor Company. Uh, they have the 1400 mega hash ETH ASIC that they have claimed, and they put out a document calling the pseudo random logic ASIC design by Sonia Chen. She talks about the uh, ProgPal. <clears throat> so basically the EIP1057, which is the Ethereum Improvement Proposal, she talks about the theory that goes to compute area of the GPU is underutilized compared to memory bandwidth. ProgPal is then designed such that it saturates both compute and memory bandwidth at once, which is true. So she goes about uh, talking about how it's possible that a custom ASIC is still possible, uh, but the gains for ProgPow is very minimal. Roughly 1.1 to 1.2 efficiency gains. <clears throat> and she goes along in her document here saying what needs to be done to get that e efficiency gain and some other stuff. I, All this stuff is, is beyond me. <laughs> I'm not a developer or whatever, hardware manufacturer. So... You guys can take a look at that. I'll have this link below. You guys can check that out. And yeah, so I just wanted to yeah, talk about ProgPow, guys. The funding has been approved. The least authority will be doing the uh, will be doing the audit. So that will be pretty cool. So we'll, we shall see in the next couple months and hopefully also see if there's any development in the ProgPow uh, in terms of hash rate, if they're, we're going to get better. Uh, hash rates on the AMD cards or whatnot, so we'll see. So guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate all of you. Let me know what you think down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you smash that like button, and please subscribe if you haven't already. Peace out, guys. Thanks so much.